Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Clebo, and we are back in Pokemon Scarlet. And this is episode number 23. So in the last episode, we tried to take on Iono, the gym leader, and we failed, unfortunately. We had to fail. Well, we didn't have to fail. We could have prepared a lot better, which we didn't, because why would I prepare? What, what, what a silly thing for me to do is to actually prepare for a battle, you know. That would be actually smart, wouldn't it? Yes, it would be. But unfortunately, we did actually lose that battle. So, today we are going to actually train ourselves up a little bit more to try and then take on the gym this time round, or better next time round. So, it's going to be a bit of training again, a bit of adventuring, probably a few more items found and things, what have we. But, we've just found ourselves a little crab brawler, which we don't have before. So, I've got to go ahead and catch him. So, I hope you are going to join me again for the ride in this episode. Also, my voice is still rubbish, as I did say in the last episode, I'm doing some back-to-back -back recording. So, yep, yeah, right now, while I am dying with whatever it might be, flu, I'm not technically dying, guys, just, just, yeah, just, just be aware, I'm not actually dying, I'm just suffering from this ailment that has taken its toll on me, which usually happens around this time of year, I usually get some sort of flu. And that's what it feels like. I don't know, as again, if it's going to be COVID, if it's flu, if it's man flu, if it's cold, if it's winter cold. Whatever this virus is, but I've got a lot of gunk. It's coming out of my nose, coming out of my mouth. Yeah, it's not, it's not nice. It's not pretty. But we're doing our best to, to get through these episodes. Because what I don't want to do is miss an episode for you guys. And I started this daily series because I really wanted to get... Pokemon out to you, but also I really wanted to try and see whether or not I could actually do a daily series. And so far, I've been really, really enjoying it. It's been stressful, don't get me wrong. We've had technical issues in previous episodes as well, which haven't helped. We've then had this technical issue in myself, where I'm dying, but not dying. You know, all that. Feel like I'm dying. Love that song, by the way, of uh, Amity Affliction. Anyway, I digress. So, yeah, as I say, we are, we're just literally going to now just train, because right now what we really want to do is go back to that gym and kick Iona's butt. But until we do, until then, we need to train and get our levels up a bit more. Even if it's just a little bit more with some of them, just to be able to survive some of the attacks that she's going to use against us. Or even just to be able to survive enough to be able to keep Crocolore on there to do all the damage, whatever we end up deciding to do. But we found a Marini there. Took that one out. But this one we're going to try and actually catch, I think. So that looks a lot better this time. So I think we are going to go ahead and try and catch this one now. Yes, we do. As we don't have a Marini yet, so that's another one we need, need for our Pokedex that is, as we learned in the last episode, it's 400. There's 400 Pokemon that we need to find and catch and what have you. And some are in Violet, some are in Scarlet, so there's going to be trading involved. All sorts of weird, wonderful things. But there's Marini Court now, which is fabulous. So now she's added to the Pokedex as well, which is lovely. So I think now it is just more a case of just training, really. And finding items and training and finding items and taking on another crap roller. Because we didn't catch the last one. So we'll try this one. I think on this occasion we are successful in catching crap roller. We are fantastic. Now, if I've, I've forgotten, if I have forgotten to mention, uh, I hope you are enjoying the series so far. And if you have been, please do let me know down in the comments below what has been your favourite moment. And also, don't forget to like the video, share the video with your friends and family, and subscribe as well. 
because we're now up to 20 subscribers, guys. Like, it's amazing. Thank you so much for the 20 people that have subscribed to my channel. It's been such, yeah, it, it, I, every time I get a new subscriber, I'm just so, so happy. So please, please do, do join the, the lovely little family that we're creating here. The, the family of Klebo, we might call it. So please do, please do come and join us. It would be great to have you here. As we've just caught ourselves a pin curtain. Which I kept calling a pin cushion and a pin urchin and so it became pin curtain because it's a Yeah. I uh, went off on a very weird tangent when we talked about this in whichever episode it was that I fought one. Now again, I am apologetic for my horrible voice or my disgusting sniffles and whatnot. I am editing them out as best as I can. But if any do get caught in there, I apologise. Or if you hear any sort of like tissue or, or any movement around while I'm talking, because I may be grabbing tissue to blow my nose and what have you. Again, it's not a very pretty sight. So I'm not going to really go too much into detail with how bad I feel, but we're doing our best, as I say. And I'm doing it for you guys. Look, I'm doing it for my fans. I'm, I'm trying to... Trying to persevere. So... Trust me, I am resting. I am keeping warm. I am keeping myself as well as I can be. But... I do want to record these for you guys. So that's what I'm here. So right now I'm just looking at all my different berries that I've now collected and I'm adding some berries to some of my Pokemon because this may come in handy, especially when you're fighting against an electric gym. Maybe it'll come in handy if I get paralysed or, or anything like that. They'll be able to use the berry to then cure themselves of those ailments. Then we notice we have found a Cyclozar, which we have talked about in previous episodes. And we don't have one yet, so it's time for us to go and catch one. The cyclists are being, it's being a little bit of a pain, but got it down to half health now, so should be able to catch it. Well, maybe not that occasion, but we should be able to catch it at some point. Try with the Great Ball. Is it successful? Yes, it is. Fabulous. Now Cyclozar is in our possession. He's joined the family. He's joined the party. He's joined this whatever we're creating. That's what he's joined. My Clabo army, maybe. I feel like I'm Dumbledore with Dumbledore's army. Clebo's army. Right. Yeah, we're just going to continue on with training up our Pokemon here. 
using auto battles to make things a little bit easier. We could just be fighting every single one of these Pokemon, as it would actually give us way more XP for doing so. But where's the fun in that? And Florigato being a grass type and all of these being water types. Nice and strong against these, so taking them out with relative ease here. Except maybe one of those. As she is not so able to take on these. But she managed to take that one out. So maybe it was just the other one that she just wasn't able to for some reason. But she's done a relatively good job there. So we'll heal her back up. And we'll send her back out. And she can carry on with her fights against all of these things. And, well, might as well take on this trainer, as it's some extra XP for our Pokémon. So let's do that. Low kicks. U turn absolutely one bombs me and then disappears because he's a donut. Well, he's not a donut, he's very strong, clearly. But bug types actually are strong against grass types, so I probably should have actually switched to Crocolaw. So I think I just take Crocolaw out at this point and just go to town on these Pokemon because I'm angry now. Dare he absolutely annihilate Florigato. How rude. I'm not gonna stand for this. But he keeps switching his Pokemon around, which is really annoying. I think this time we should also get our Nope, U turn gets two first. And this is all he does, he just keeps doing the same thing. I mean it's a it's a it's an interesting I suppose tactic, but doesn't work out for him. Because once he doesn't have another Pokemon, U turn doesn't work. He can't then disappear. So we are just going to keep out Crocolaw, as Bug types are weak against Fire types. So it doesn't matter whether he uses U turn again, it's not going to do what he wants it to do. And then we one bomb him. One shot him with Crocodile. And there we go. Crocodile is done. Now LeChonk wants to learn dig. So we'll let him learn dig. Well, LeChonky is learning dig. And we beat Anas the student. Yes, you are an ass. Sorry, was that rude? Maybe it was a little bit. I was only just saying that's his name. He's an ass. And he was a bit of an ass in that battle. But we, we got him down, so happy days. Oh, we noticed a slowpoke. Don't have a slowpoke yet. So what do we need to do? We need to catch this. Fantastic damage there from Florigato. I believe she's done what we needed it to do. Oh, maybe not. Didn't want to catch in that one. Try another Pokeball, maybe. Or Great Ball. Probably going to be a Great Ball. We'll give it a go. See whether or not he will play ball in a Great Ball instead. And he does. So, fantastic. That's Slowpoke Court as well. Uh, Slowpoke has two different evolutions, if you're not already aware of this. So, one of them is Slowbro, and that's just levelling up your Slowpoke to a certain level and it will evolve into Slowbro. Or if you want to have a Slowking, 
you need to evolve a Slowpoke by put, giving it a King's Rock and then trading it to a friend. So that'll be something we will do so we can get Slow King as well. But for now, we're just going to carry on leveling up our Pokemon a bit. So while we are doing that, I would like to give you this time to leave a comment down below and tell me who your favourite Pokemon is. From either this series or from any series, who's your favourite Pokemon? Be good to know. While we then now attack this magic up instead of just running at it. Fortunately, we've got a grass type against a water type. And what do we know about water types and grass types? That's right. Grass types are strong against water types. And a chunky is evolving. Who'd have thunk we were gonna evolve our Lechonky while we're here? We now have Oink Cologne, but it's still gonna be called Lechonky. So an Oink Cologne. Does it have its own cologne? That's called Oink? Possibly? I'm not sure what that's gonna smell like. Probably not very nice. Usually pigs are not the greatest smelling of creatures, but maybe this one is better. Who knows? But now I'm swapping out for poor me, even though what I should be doing is just building a decent army against Iono. But no, I'm not going to do that. Why, why would I prepare myself like that? I'm just going to swap out because now that I've got the hair evolved, I don't need to use the junkie anymore. Now we'll have a look at a terror raid. Now oh, actually we are going to go for this, I wonder. Potentially. I think we are going to go for this. Yes, we are. Now, with terror raids, they do help because they give us XP candy. So XP candy is going to be used on our Pokemon to help level up quicker. So I think that's possibly the reason why I go ahead and do this terror raid. So you get to see a solar one for, for the first time in my series. There will be many more later down the line of the series as well. But now... We're going to take on a Crabble. Or Crabrawler, sorry. In a ghost type, I believe. But being a one star, we shouldn't find it too difficult to take down. why I kept Florigato out, because it was just easier than trying to figure out what the next step's going to be. But, that was a nice and easy battle there. So, again, if you are playing it solo, you then get four, or three, sorry, random NPCs that jump into the battle with you. Or you can get three friends and actually do it as four people in one raid. Which probably will come in handy in the bigger more event kind of raids because they're usually going to be a lot stronger. There recently was a Charizard raid which I've not been able to do because to be able to do it you have to have completed the game, uh, well taken on the Elite Four, gone through Area Zero, gone back and taken all the gyms on again because yes you've got to then take on the gyms again and then I think you could then do the Charizard raid. Something along those lines but yeah the Charizard raid wasn't around for very long. I'd clearly not got to that point by the time it came around. So, unfortunately, I was not able to go ahead and do it. But hopefully when it returns, I will be ready for the Charizard raid and we will have a recording for that at some point, maybe. But for the main part, this series is just going to be going through the entire storyline. So once the storyline is done, my series will be done. And then if there's anything else that I do in this game, that I think is going to be good for content, like raids for instance, so if they are going to be, or multiplayer sort of episodes, things like that, then I will be putting those out as well for you, so, but yeah, we're very far away from that right now, you know, we've still got plenty of episodes, we're very, still very much early into this game, so, they're, they're, that won't be happening anytime soon, but when we do get to it, 
you know, I think it's going to be a little bit emotional when we get to the end of this series. At least for myself. I don't know about you guys, but it, probably for myself, it'll be getting a little bit emotional because I'll then be able to say I did it. I managed to complete an entire series and do it daily for you. So, and I'm hoping in doing so, it's going to gain a few more followers, which it has. I've already gained a few more subscribers, which is fantastic. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm going to keep on about it. And I will keep on about it, and I'll keep on about it. For every single person that's watching this video that is not already subscribed, and is thinking about it, just click the button. It takes less than a second of your day to click that button, and it will mean the world to me. So please do it. Speaking of, we just caught another watch roll. Well, no, we caught our first watch roll. Because we didn't caught the, catch the last two watch rolls that we fought. We'll carry on with our uh, fighting. Crocodile is now level 30, which is amazing. So Florigato just can't beat this watch run. It's move type or whatever. Just doesn't seem to want to match up. So never mind. We'll go take on this trainer instead. My Pokemon! Yeah, what about your Pokemon? Who cares about them? I'm challenged by Monica. So, some of these character models, I mean, they're, they're, they're very hard to distinguish whether they're male or female. And then you see the name and you kind of go, okay, it's, it's, it's a female. There's a lot of female trainers out there, actually, to be fair. There are a lot of males as well, don't get me wrong. But, I find the female ones, unless they are literally look like a female, they're very hard to distinguish. I don't know if I'm the only one that feels that way. If I'm not the only one that feels that way, please let me know down in the comments below. Because I genuinely think that. And I know I'm not trying to be sexist or anything like that. It's just... I'm genuinely not being sexist. It's just... I, I, it's just what I see. I, I kind of picture or I just perceive based on what I'm looking at. Like, looking at her from afar, you wouldn't think that was a woman. I think it was a guy. No offence. Anyway, I, I digress a little bit. So now Crocodile's going to go and have a little bit of fun. Because lots and lots of Hoppips and Skiplims around. Not Hoppip. Yeah, it is Hoppip. Look at that brain. Can't even remember Pokemon at the moment. But yes, Hoppips and Skiplims. Which are weak against fire types. So Crocodile's gone and absolutely annihilated them all. Which is fantastic. Thank you very much, Crocodile. You did a great job. So it looks like at this point, Clabo has taken another mini break here. Crocodile is just going to run around our feet, singing to herself as she runs around and runs around. Eventually she's probably going to get tired and then fall asleep. Oh, and then we're going to move on. And as I turned, I almost ran into a Magnemite. That wouldn't have been helpful. We found a green dealing. No, I don't have a green dealing yet, I don't believe. I think I'm just checking to see what dealing I did have, which I had a pink one, and I don't have a green one yet. And I went straight past it because it's right there. I just saw it. Box three. Well, looks like we're going to fight it now, because yeah, I don't have a green one yet. I may end up just wrecking this. Oh, fortunately I didn't. Thankfully, Dig didn't... Dig? Bite didn't do enough damage. So, one shot it. So, hopefully, that should be a nice easy catch for a dealing there. 
It is. Fabulous. So now we have the green ones. We have a pink one and a green one. All we need now is the peach one and the brown one. And then we have all four. And then we'll have to, at some point in an episode, evolve all of them. So we get to see all the different evolved forms of it. And then maybe even create a little party out of it. Who knows? A little battle party. Who knows? But I'm going to go speak to her again for some reason. Don't know why I'm going to speak to Monica again, but hey-ho. And then we find a Murkrow. And a Murkrow is also a Pokemon we don't have yet in our possession. So time for us to try and catch this one. Oh, nearly, nearly, nearly one-shot that one as well. But fortunately, Crocolaw was able to reserve herself a little bit and not absolutely wreck this Murkrow. Well, burn it to a crisp, turn it into chicken dinner maybe. I'm not a winner winner chicken dinner now. No, I would like to be a winner winner chicken dinner. No, I really wouldn't. I don't want to be a chicken dinner. No, I, I retract that statement. I do not want to be a chicken dinner. And neither does this Mercury. This Mercury apparently doesn't even want to be caught either, because he's just a... A very naughty word. Okay, fine. Try a Great Ball. You're going to play like that? I'm going to try a Great Ball on you. Nope. Still not even a Great Ball. Wow. What about an Ultra Ball? Nope. This macro is just being rude at this point. All it needs to do is just get into the Pokeball. All it needs to do. Try a nest ball, maybe? Okay, apparently a nest ball worked. Helpful. Well, I read nest and I thought, that probably works for flying types, because they birds and they have a nest, so it makes sense. And it worked. Same. <sighs> Took me however many Pokeballs it did to get to that point, but we managed to catch ourselves a Mercro. So, yay us. Another one for the family, for the party, for the army, Clebo's army. Welcome to Clebo's army, Mercro. That is what we are now going to call it. It is now Clebo's army. As long as I remember, it's Clebo's army. Because I'll probably forget within the next episode or two. Well, we'll just carry on with killing more Pokemon. Killing more Pokemon? No. Taking more Pokemon down. Leveling ourselves up a bit more. Getting ourselves prepared for another run at the electric gym. And yeah, taking on all of these little Pokemon along the way. And Crocolor is just going ham on them all. And then a Taurus comes and stampedes on us. Because that's what Taurus like to do. Stampede. And get very annoying. So, can you please stop now? Ugh. I had to flinch, didn't I? Can you now stop so that I can beat you? Yeah, you can keep using Black Rock because you're not then doing damage to me. You keep increasing your attack, which yes, probably would then wreck me if you were to then do an attack on me. But you're faint, so you can't attack me. So goodbye. Go away. We do not want you. You are done. 
And I think at this point we will wrap it up there. So I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I do hope you have a lovely day. And I will see you in the next one.